Well, he's Coyle getting this puck out to center. There's Brad Marchand. He was a game time decision. He'll move that puck into the middle for the shot and the uncertain save by Sam Harrison. Didn't know where it was. He got in the way of it, though. Here's Lindholm a shot. That one deflects and goes to the corner. Go back in a line change. Forster darting through center ice. Moves in the shot off the goal post. Rebound. That's the way had a crack at it, but couldn't control it. Pasternak and this chance for Forster before. Look at this wrist shot through the screen. An absolute bullet. I mean, tough for Allmark. Well, knocked down by Case, but got it back to McAvoy. He has the puck set a point for a shot. Bend it off. Byerson bounces free. Marchand gets it back to McAvoy. Now this way, Zaka shot blocked. Rebound shot by Carl. Stopped by Harrison. Puck chopped out to center by Frost. And then lost by the Bruins. Connect, he plays it to himself off the boards as the Flyers are changing. And now his pass off the stick of Ferry, who's after this puck. He's got it. Ferry the shot. Save, Omar. The Flyers management allows their coach to coach, though. He makes the decisions. Adjustments are made from that. That shot easily batted away by Allmark, and it goes out of play. True number ones in the NHL, I mean, they're hard to find. Uh, to me, Cam York is, is solidifying himself as what I would consider a true two. Oregon Frost denied on a redirection by Allmark. A lot of a lot of the net. And you need to cover a lot of the net when there are redirections. See, that one catches the top of the pad. Mason Baker as well. Two for one for McAvoy there. Get a little bit more of that in this game. This has been one of those games, not much going on. We need either scrums, a fight, hit, something. A shot. Oh, that hit a man in front. And that makes a great save on Van Riemsdyk. This shot from the point by Pete catches Johnson up high. and The bounce. Volk was able to get it over to Van Riemsdyk. And not one, but two saves by Erson. Sprawled out the toe, then the body, and added to Couturier, and he'll chip and chase. He'll get in after it first. Couturier steps in front, save rebound, he's loose. Jammed that by Cates, but it went wide. Couturier, good chance here before we went to break. Uh, good idea, get it in deep, get after it. Again, play below the goal line. There is some defense on this Boston team that I think you can take advantage of. Mason Lorai, one of those guys, he's a young guy. He's mobile, but the Flyers get this one to Tippett. Roars out to center ice. Tippett turning on the turbo charge, cutting it in the shot. They made a rebound. And it popped wide as both Connect and Frost went to the cage. York could not keep it in at the line. This was Owen Tippett trying to get the first goal of the game. So the Flyers will change up. 40 seconds remain on the power play. Less than two minutes in the second period. Connect me. Off on the right side, paling. Nice play to get that to Lawton. Lawton into the middle. Down low. They score! Connecty from Forster. Up for Omar Kinnan. Power play goal. The Flyers finally have the first one here today. Kind of an excuse me play here as Lawton finds Forster in the bumper. And I don't think Forster was trying to make a pass to Kinnecty. He fanned it. But fortunately, it goes right to Kinnecty on the back door. And Konechny maybe doesn't get all of it, <laughs> but he gets enough of it as he powers it. Oh, yeah, look at off the pad, off the blocker. Dirty but good. Absolutely. Boyle forced outside by Forster. We got it into the middle all the way through to Lindholm, who will line fake the shot. And then, again, prone. Johnson makes a great play. Pokes it out to Lawton. He's in a race. Lawton cutting it on. Goal! Omark makes the save. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Eric Johnson in his short time here. Likes to lay out. And he breaks up the play, and then Lawton with the breakaway. Kind of late in the shift for Lawton. Maybe not a ton of gas left in the tank. Tries to elevate it, but a beautiful save there by Linus Olmark. And it's work free by Paling. Good work again by Ryan. He moves it to Forster. Jason Forster back to Paling. Back for Forster, turns it in front, save, oh, Mark. Handled it very well, did Eric Johnson now tip it to the puck. Tip it roaring on up, save, oh, Mark. And he's got that puck, no rebound to be had. Period, but good anticipation here by Tippett to win that puck against Frederick, and then he takes it to the net. And another good play in the first period where Tippett drove wide on the other side and took it to the net, and Olmark both times has had the end. Couturier gets to it. He's by himself, now Excel joins. 
Excel falls. Couturier drops it back off for Cates in front. Excel, a backhander, and the save made. It may not have been the prettiest looking play, but still an effective way to get the puck towards the net. And Excel with another good opportunity. Brink got that puck to Fairby. Another battle one in the shot by Lott, and the save made by Elmark as Brink was just getting to the crease. That was another good job by Brink on the wall there against Lorai that helped. Look out here, Brazo scores! Justin Brazo continues his late season surge for the Bruins. As he has tied this game at one with his fourth goal in the last three games. Coyle makes the feed. Is it onside? Yeah, it's good. Able to stay with it, get it to Brazo, and from there he does the rest. The long reach. Able to get around that right pad of Sam Harrison. You know, that's one where as a goaltender with a guy can move into his backhand, I'd love an active stick there. Konechny off the back of Tippett's skate. Gotten back by Frost. He'll lug it in across the line. Drop it off to Konechny. Konechny with a shot. He scores! Number 30 on the year gives the Flyers a 2-1 lead. Late in the third. But Connect Me will take it. The entry, and it's a simple just play to the net. I, I think Connect Me's trying to play for a pass off the pads. It goes right underneath the pad of Olmark. That is just a goal you cannot give up. That is a backbreaker. And Connect Me with his 30th. Out the other side, low ride does keep it in. But right to Paling, who forces it back out to center. We've entered the toy to ride, four minutes to play. Flyers trying to hold the lead to Brussels. Pass to a cutting Geeky. Geeky gets wide, goes to the back end, then the forehead centers in and they score! Flyers got hot puck watching, and Denton Heinen beats Harrison to make it 2 2. It is a heck of a pass by Morgan Geeky. I mean, Geeky takes a peek over his right shoulder as the play is developing. Right there, he takes a peek over his right shoulder. He sees Heinen coming late. Chance on the rush for the Flyers. They'll go to the alley. You try. It's on side. Tip it. Stopped by Olmark. Olmark's down. The puck picked up by Konechny. Back out. Kicked in by Jinning to the corner. Deflected to no icing. Jinning will have to play this. He decides to eat the puck and then flip it to the corner, but right there is Heinen. His pass knocked down by Forster. Fires. Up to center, Paling. Back to Forster. The shot! He scores! Tyson Forster, a laser! And the Flyers once again on top, late in the third. This one from the other side of the ice on the off wing. Leans into it and puts it right where the bar meets the post. This guy can absolutely rip it. In stride. And as a goaltender, once you don't catch up to it, you're on your way down. Good luck trying to get a glove on it. Or check that Zaka to the Philadelphia zone. But here's York with it. He'll fire long range. That's cut off at the red line. Two seconds. One. Coil to the line. That's it. The Flyers end their losing streak against the Bruins.